Ja. Oh, ich weiß nicht. Ah, du, der hat 20. Ja. Okay, hi everybody, we're back for our uh, Insta weekly Insta Live. Today we're gonna share with you uh, lifestyle tips to improve fertility. Okay, yeah, posture, posture. <laughs> See, I carry rabbit, rabbit for fertility. Yeah, any of you have any questions about uh, like how uh, lifestyle tips regarding or anything about your daily life uh, behavior that will affect fertility? Please ask us. Uh, we are actively staring at the camera to see if there's any questions. Hey, you monitor this one, I monitor that one. <laughs> even monitor you can see me? Can't see the questions. I think. No, but the hard thing when you appear can see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tisha, what, should, what, what, what you want to start with? What kind of uh, lifestyle tips do we have? Okay, so if we are talking about fertility, right? I think Don't ask me exercise. <laughs> it's like there are a few things that we really have to take note of. So it's like um, definitely diet is one. Mm. And then second one is exercising. Yeah, the exercises that I hate the most. Y'all see and my face. <laughs> the third one will be uh, having adequate rest and sleep. And then the other one will be... um. Keeping yourself stress free. These four are the rather f four very important ones. So we can go through one by one. Okay, so first one, diet. Okay. Don't drink cold water, okay? Yeah. Cold water, try not to drink too much. So it's like cold food, like ice cream, all this. You just try to avoid them. Oh no, yes. no ice cream. Yeah, so it's like from since the past till now, I always emphasize a lot on cold every time uh, we are on. Instagram live or mm. Facebook or when I'm telling my patient. Mm. So no cold drinks, uh, no ice cream. Mm. But once in a while, if you really cannot take it, then just a little bit like Don't take too much. Yeah, a little bit of ice cream is fine. Then yeah. make it a habit lah. Oh, I know all the drinks outside they always load it up with a lot of ice. Make it a habit. Whatever drink you order, ask for no ice. Yeah. Right. And yeah, and also try to get some warm drinks, warm water. Um, this is the spec for the cold food that we're talking about. The second one will be nutrients. So for nutrients, right, I always actually um, advise my patient to eat all the variety of food. So don't be picky. Mm. Yeah, this is the most important. This to ensure that you get all the micronutrients you need. Mm. Those of you out there, huh? don't eat your veggies, right? Yeah. So it's like when we are talking about our micronutrients, we are talking about our vitamin A, B, C, um, K, A to Z, uh, yeah, <laughs> enzyme, selenium, magnesium, all those. So your body actually need all these micronutrients to actually function well. But is the diet like our daily food uh, enough for enough? Does it have enough vitamin, or do we have to take extra supplements? Uh? Okay, so for some patients, right, we do know that for example, calcium, mm. folic, us, uh, we may not be getting enough from our food. Uh. Oh, yeah. so okay. for some patients who are picky eaters or um, they actually don't manage to get all the a variety of food because like, sometimes they find that it's very hard to eat meat mm. or some are off, some of them are vegetarian or some of them just um, eat very little vegetables or they just ah, eat yeah, yeah. A, a particular type of vegetable if you eat us or we are the jia cai, uh, we always like, we always like, hey, veggie depressed especially in Singapore, uh, you all need to think though, I, I know hawker food is cheap uh, but then if you notice our uh, hawker food, the proportion is very wrong. You you will have like seventy percent of the cups, like your rice, your noodle. Actually, most of the, not a lot of vitamins in those, right? I actually think that for all the outside food, uh, even restaurants, you mm. come with the set meal or just like a bento, right? Mm. Always there's always like a lack of vegetables. Yeah, then twenty percent is the protein. Then a small 10% is the vegetable. The other day, I, I, I ordered a yu tang, right? I ordered yu tang. I take picture of, I take picture of her. I was like, spot the vegetable. Then she spot this little tiny little green thingy hidden in the soup. That one is it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So normally, we will try to say that, uh, try to eat more home cooked food. But mm. if you are unable to do that, right? Then you just add the vegetables. Or uh, you add more variety of food into your daily, uh, daily meal. So for example, today you may be eating fish. Mm. 
So tomorrow you can try uh, meat, mm. and then the next day you can try the other type of proteins mm. with other uh, fibers. Uh. So for vegetables, we also say I try to get a variety of them, mm. because different uh, vegetables have different uh, nutrients as well, so mm. try not to be picky. Mm. Yep. Is it very bad to eat salad? Huh? Or if you are trying to get, uh, if you are trying to be fertile? Is it try to eat, not to eat too much? La? Not too much? Huh? Yeah, because okay. salad is considered... Um, Cold and liang la. So especially those with cold wound syndrome Then it's going to be even worse for you All of us join us today <laughs> eh. Hello everybody He said a lot of us join us I'm too for, far, I can't press the wave <laughs> button yeah. And then for those who have a uh, gastric issue right Definitely don't eat uh, salad on an empty stomach oh. It's just going to give you more yeah, You know I eat apple on an empty stomach right I, My tummy always hurt one or I get more hungry Yeah yeah, so very important. Uh. But some tips, uh, let's say like your budget, uh, budget uh, want to eat some hawker food, right? You may want to uh, adopt a few habits like uh, ask, for, ask, uh, ask for more veggie. Maybe you need to top up some money. La. But mm-hmm. ask, for, ask them to jia cai, jia cai. Or fan sao jia cai, you know. Ask for less rice, then uh, ask for more vegetables. The other day we went to eat the beef noodle. Then I was like, uh, 小弟, you can eat more meat. Then he said, I'm going to eat more meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then now he said, she's, then we saw he put in the colander, wow, half the thing got tau gay. <laughs> that's good, yeah. 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 So that's a good habit. Or alternatively, <laughs> like maybe uh, make it a habit to bring vegetables with you, maybe, yeah, with your meal. So sometimes you maybe you order chicken rice, you all see chicken rice, you want know, one piece of cucumber, and if you're lucky, maybe you get extra piece of tomato. Yeah, right. so I actually encourage uh, some of our patients, if they have time, right, to do meal preps. Mm. Yeah, so. Uh, you can get all the nutrients you, you need. Like if, hey, you are unable to, yeah, if I'm unable to do that, right, it's mm. okay. So just make sure that maybe if dinner you tap out back home, right, you just make sure that you can just uh, just uh, prepare some vegetables. Mm. You can just um, steam it or you can just uh, mm. just boil it. Then it's yeah, so actually right. now, right, because I'm always at a clinic, right, so my poor husband working at home, uh, doesn't have um, food la. So what I did was I, I ordered a bunch of vegetables from Redma So some lettuce, some tomato, some canned corn uh, uh, Cabbage, the uh, red cabbage so, It's look very colourful la, but carrot la. So uh, the way I, I open, I open you know those tapau container right? I lay out, I lay out seven container Then I see the chai, ring out water Then I distribute, distribute, distribute Put the chai, chai, chai Then I put the, the carrot, then put the corn, then put everything then uh, I boil eggs for him uh, so I boil eggs separately. Then I put. I say you eat already, uh, you put the you put the eggs separately in, onto the salad. Uh, then yeah, salad dressing already. I just buy already uh, so he can just put the salad dressing himself mm. uh. Yeah, so that's one of the way you can meal prep ahead. So every time you need, so my fridge got one stack of the container. So every time you can just take one with you to work. So if you know your meal obviously doesn't have enough vegetables. Take that container, then you go and eat. Because I know the markup is very high. Yeah, mm. you buy one one big iceberg lettuce, maybe one dollar fifty cent. You ask them top up, okay, two dollars, then they give you two pieces. Right? Yeah. Yeah, but one advice for meal prep is that uh, try to not to meal prep for a very long time. So oh. we say that maximum five to seven days. Uh, if oh, not, okay. some stuff will actually get spoiled already. Mm mm mm. Okay yeah. okay. Yeah, and there are actually some patients who ask me if they can eat supplements. Uh. Mm. So actually, I. Actually, won't um stop my patient from eating supplement, especially mm. when they do feel that hey, um they go and do a blood test, they find that they have some vitamin D deficiency, all this mm. right. Yes, definitely you have to take supplements. Uh. Mm. So actually, I, I do encourage my patient to get supplement, especially for females. Vitamin uh, D, uh, important yeah. for vitamin D. Yeah, so it's like for my uh, for female patients, right? Definitely will get them on folic acid supplements, mm. uh, multivitamins. Folic acid is for the iron, is it? Folic acid, um, so normally we say that uh, prior to conception, right, mm. we need to be on uh, folic acid for 6 months already. Oh, okay. Now, folic acid is actually vitamin B. You need this for the uh, fetal growth. La. Mm. So if your body actually lacks uh, folic acid, right, mm. uh, it, actually can just, it can actually affect the fetal development, the mm. neural development. So um, when this happens, when you have deficiency in folic, right, you mm. just get miscarriage. Mm. Yeah. In general, I think when uh, ladies are pregnant, if you all go see a gynae, <coughs> then uh, your gynae would uh, actually sub- uh, prescribe you to take some folic acid. La. So yeah. this one quite important. Yeah, then vitamin D, can, yeah. can I just say Thai Yang? Uh, say thai, uh, so it's like, uh, if you want to go and get some, yes, you can never get vitamin D. Mm. But there are some times where our, our patients still don't get 
adequate vitamin D la. Mm. So that's when the Western doctor will actually get them on some uh supplements. Mm. Yeah, but this is rather very specific. So our patient may not be able to know whether they need vitamin D or not. So normally I'll just say them, just tell them that uh, just get a multivitamin as a general supplement. Mm. It should be enough. And then for the guys, right, uh, we do know that uh, your sperm need actually a lot of micronutrients like zinc, selenium, magnesium for their uh, development and growth of the sperms. So it's actually very important for them to get the adequate uh, micronutrients. And sometimes from the food, they don't really get get, get enough of it. So we actually will advise them that they can actually get some supplements as well. Oh, actually, a lot of men, they have a lot of like um, sperm issues. La. But again, don't worry. Sperm issues doesn't have any indication of men who are anything. It's just uh, the factory produce the sperm is like that one. La. Then maybe it's not the ideal kind of sperm for fertility. So like, is there like any kind of diet that can help them to improve the sperm quality? So for diet for men, right, it's still mm. the same. Uh, try to, for me, right, I always recommend my patient eat as naturally as you can. Mm. So try to avoid canned food, processed food like bacon, sausage, all this. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> because these they contain a lot of uh inflammatory uh substance, a lot of oxidant, which can actually cause damage to uh, oxidants. Are. Yeah. Oxidants are bad for all. Oh. Yeah. So, so you should eat antioxidants. <laughs> eat more blueberries. <laughs> uh, yeah, so antioxidant is also a very important aspect mm. in uh, our diet to mm. actually help with our fertility. Mm. Yeah, so for antioxidant, we say uh, that anything that is very vi- vibrant in colours, right, mm. or very dark in colour, like blueberry or your very leafy greenish uh, vegetables, mm. actually contains a lot of uh, The darker the food, the better, la, but don't chow ta. La. Or the very <laughs> vibrant one. <clears throat> yeah, so we actually, in this case, right, we just recommend everyone to eat a variety of food. Mm. <clears throat> in this Chinese New Year, but I think we should stay away from a... Uh, Chinese New Year. All the Chinese New Year goodie, does it affect facility? I would say eat in moderation lah, because okay. all these are very high in fats and sugar. Mm, yeah, okay. and sugar is actually an inflammatory, inflammatory substance. Mm, yeah, so not, okay. not try not to eat too much. Yeah, especially your bakwa, your your pastries. Yeah. Pineapple tart. My yeah, friend just texted me, she went to somewhere to pick some of these pineapple tart. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I diet. So some patients, they also uh, actually ask whether they can eat COQ, uh, get COQ10, oh, mm, COQ10, yeah, DHEA, all this, right? Mm. Yeah, it's up to their description. Uh, I won't actually discourage them. Mm. Yeah, some Western doctor actually get them to be on it. Mm. Yeah, so definitely uh, actually get advice from your Western doctor whether you're suitable for that supplement or not. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, moving on from diet, what's next? What's next? The thing you hate the most exercise. Okay, let's talk about exercise. Okay, so <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so exercise uh one one thing about exercise is that why is it so important? It's because uh it actually helps to promote blood circulation in your body. So normally TC I always say that you need to have a very good circulation to your uterus. Mm. Yeah, to actually help with the implantation, with the follicle development that embryo development and all this. Mm. So definitely exercising is so important. Mm. Yeah, the other thing is that exercise actually Somebody also... Somebody give us a like. Thanks for the like! <laughs> okay, so exercise also help to reduce stress. So if you are reducing your stress, right, actually uh, we have some research which shows that um, stress can mm. also affect fertility. Mm. So in a way, right, exercising actually indirectly indirectly helps with fertility. No, exercise gives me stress! Especially when she makes me exercise. Okay, so exercise, right? <laughs> for patients who, for people who actually, uh, they don't really exercise, you can always start with walking first. Brisk walking, you can go to Yeah, her favourite, she, her favourite, she will pull me out and go walk, go walk. Hey, let's walk somewhere for lunch. Yeah, 10 minutes or 15 minutes first. Once you get used to it, we can go for uh, a longer walk, like 30 minutes. And once you have more stamina, we can do a bit of slow jogging. I don't really encourage uh, running for mm. a long period of time because it actually will injure the mm. knees. Yeah, swimming, badminton, anything recreational. Mm. Yeah, so normally we recommend after you have got used to exercising already, right? We can do 
uh, three times a week. Each mm. time you can do a 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, so many of y'all have joined, I just realized. Can y'all like uh, uh, follow us on Instagram so y'all can uh, watch our live every week? And then, uh, I haven't end yet, la. I just remind y'all. Uh, y'all don't watch until uh, our, our topic so interesting, then forgot to like us, forget to follow us. Uh. So those on Facebook, please like our page. And then those on Instagram, please uh, follow us and uh, check out our stuff. We always got giveaway stuff, uh, okay? So yeah, then we got promo from time to time. So yeah, please follow us. Then uh, I want to say, I want to complain something. Oh no, I'm not complain. I'll tell you a secret. Yi Shi Ho, actually she very fit one, you know. She every day do how many stuff? Uh? 90. 90 only, yeah. Only. 90 yeah. She still say only yeah. Wow, she very fit, you know. I do 30, I pound fake already. You're like, oh, I cram you, I cram you. Uh, yeah, so hey, but can do sit-up, does it affect the, the, the womb? Huh? Uh, you know, we normally, keep, it's like when push. we are doing sit-ups, I right, actually encourage you after your menses is clean, then you do mm. the more rigorous uh, exercises. Mm. If it's after ovulation, Normally after ovulation, right, uh, if you are trying for babies, you you and the husband have intercourse, right? Any exercises that are recommended, right, are always the light exercises. Mm. So normally after ovulation, I would recommend patients to actually just do some uh, walking or two. Mm. So no HIIT, uh, no very excessive exercises. Oh, HIIT. Yeah. Oh, cannot. Uh. 很喘, uh. Yesterday I run, I, I, I laid there, I run down then but the person who picked me like, wow you run very fast, I said yeah, only that very short distance I can run. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a range of, uh, there, there are a series and a range of exercises we can do um, normally. La. So other than walking, some of the patients may actually don't like to go out. So Pilates, yoga, which you can do at home is fine as mm. well. As long as you can get your body moving and also it can actually, um, helps you to relax your body. That's the most important thing. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, moving on from exercise. Yes. What's next? Stress, uh, right? Is it? Is it having stress? adequate sleep. Or oh, adequate and sleep. Wow, those yeah. with insomnia, how are they like? Yeah, so it's like uh, sleep hygiene is actually very important. Right? Sleep hygiene? Yeah, sleep hygiene is actually a term that we actually use. To actually, uh, tell oh, those people, people never chong, go back home, never chong yang, never brush teeth, then they go and sleep that kind. No, no, no. Oh, no. Sleep hygiene is about uh, having this kind of uh, good habits. It's about having good habits which actually help you to improve your sleep. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, firstly, I think we can actually let everyone know why is it important to sleep well and having adequate sleep. Mm. So, it's like when you're having adequate sleep, right, your body is actually repairing yourself. Mm. Yeah, so um, all these uh, anti-inflammatory um, substance, it's like your body is actually, uh, when you're sleeping, your body is repairing yourself so so that it can actually help to counter with the inflammatory, uh, inflammation that's going on in your body. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. It can actually help you to actually balance your hormones as well. Huh? Mm. So actually, if you are not sleeping well, or you're having like, you actually switch on the light when you're sleeping, it actually affects your hormonal secretion. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in turn, right, it's like, it like, can actually affect your menstrual cycle and also fertility. Mm. But this is in the long run. Uh. Mm. Yeah, so just make sure that you have adequate sleep. So we say that uh, for people like in our ages, in our age, so it's like around 20 plus to 40. Mm. Yeah, no, we say that we should have at least 7 to 9 hours sleep. Okay, I think yeah. I, I, I usually about 7 to 8. Yeah. But then I still got eye back. Mm. Yeah, and then in TCM, <laughs> right, uh, we do have, uh, so it's like in TCM, different uh, hours, right, correspond to different organs. So it means that uh, as you sleep, uh, at repair, least, yes, oh. at, at least an uh, hour, right, it actually help you to repair a particular organ. Oh. So between, actually, uh, for TCM, we recommend patients not to sleep after one. If can do us uh, if you can right try to sleep uh, before twelve pm. Okay. Because eleven to one right this uh, period actually your body, your liver is repairing. Mm. Yeah. So we say the gun uh, So it's based on like the PCM. it's based on the the actual clock time, not from the hour you sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So we also <clears throat> so if patients sleep like I, the patient sleep like three a.m. in the morning. Mm. Then wake up like ten a.m. <coughs> Even though they have a seven hour sleep, right? Mm. Um, they they are, their liver is not repairing well. So in this case, right, you often see patients have uh, this liver fire. Mm. So they always have a bad temper. They mm. always get very heaty because the 
liver is not repairing mm. itself la, at that time. So it's very important that you try to sleep early mm. before child. Although it's like it's actually very hard for people to do it right now because they have a lot of work or they a lot of Netflix too to much. Watch. Yeah, or they actually use the <laughs> all the too much, all uh. the bl- binging on Netflix. Uh, let not sleep very late. Yeah, so we try to sleep during this hour so that our liver can repair. Mm. Yeah, and then as we are talking about sleep hygiene, right? There are actually certain um factors, certain things that we have to take note, which actually help to improve our sleep hygiene. So mm. The first thing is that to sleep in darkness. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so you're not supposed to actually uh have any lights on because it, it can actually affect the melatonin production. Speaking of this, right, my uh, my husband a bit annoying. He he's like, kind must sleep in total darkness. You know how your aircon right has this little tiny light right when you on it. It will bug him you know, got that tiny he cannot see, then he went and paste one sticker over it to cover that little tiny standby light. <laughs> yeah, and then for patients who have uh, some difficulty in sleeping, right, I actually would recommend them, if they are sleeping near the window, to pull their curtain completely, so that mm. the lights from the outside, moonlight, right, moonlight. the moonlight, uh, the traffic lights, all the mm. lamps, right, do won't actually come in and affect your sleep. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, we also part. can recommend some sleep tea lah. Yeah, our clinic carries some sleep tea, we, we've been giving them to some of our patients, it works ah. So then they came back to us and like, oh we need more sleep tea, because yeah. it helps them to uh, improve their sleep quality. Yeah, so some of the herbs that you use to help improve sleep includes lavender, rose, mm. and also um, the chihua, the chrysanthemum. Mm. Yep, this can actually help you to actually uh, relax your body and prepare yourself to go to sleep. Mm. And it's also very important before you sleep, uh, that few hours before you sleep, uh, don't eat any Chinese medicine. Um, so it's like don't eat any Chinese medicine that uh, the physician give you. Uh. Because if um, normally for us, right, unless it's a, it's a Chinese medicine that actually help you to improve your sleep, mm. most medicine, most Chinese medicine when you drink it very late at night, closer to your sleep, right, you mm. actually feel very alert, you feel very awake. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, before you sleep also, uh, make sure you don't drink too much water. So you oh, won't yeah. actually go to a yeah, 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 yeah. I try not to drink like two hours before I sleep so I won't wake up in the middle of the night and pee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. That's the most important thing. Anybody has any questions about sleep? No? If no questions, let's move on to stress. Distress. Yes. Uh so it's like uh, stress, right? We know that right now in society, everyone has stress. Either from school work stress, family stress, stress. Family stress or actually, it's like stress is... No reason also want to go and stress, that kind. For stress for fertility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and she's fertility very stressful one, eh? especially yes. those of us or those of you out there, you know, trying, trying, you know. Okay, the whole journey, uh, before you even go at IVF, uh, uh, maybe you want to start with, oh, you do DIY la, what do you want to IVS save money or do it naturally. Then you have to, wow. Uh, first thing you have to track your pee. Then try to do it the first thing, the first pee. Then, wow, forget. Then, wow, stress. Right or not? Then later, later, like, oh, ovulation, haven't, haven't do homework. Ayah, stress. Right? Yeah. Then later, do the pregnancy test. Ayo, fail. Then, stress again. Then, like, wait for the next period. Wow, wait for another two weeks. Then, you stress <coughs> again. So, this is just before IVF. Wait, huh? You do IVF, lagi more stress. Uh. They will give you one list, uh, okay? They give you one long, one, one long list. Uh. Day 1 to day 5, inject this, don't know how many MG. Then 6 to day 10, don't know what, 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 don't know how many MG. Then 11, then another, then no, then later they add on. Then you have to inject, 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 then take some medicine. Then on the day, go and retrieve. There are a lot of things to, re- a lot of things to take, no one, no. Then yeah, every time you go and scan, then the doctor will there read your follicle, the follicle, what size, what size, what size. Then you're like, huh, like never grow stress. Eh? Huh? Only got five molecules. Wow, also oh, stress, right? Your yeah, body the body don't react. You always have to go to the hospital very frequently. Yeah, yeah. Be stress as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, definitely, it's like physician always tell our patient uh, mm. don't be too stressed. But we know that it's not that easy to yeah, get rid of. It's like how, how to not react? Don't, don't be stressed long. Huh? How do I lose weight? Uh, you 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 lose weight long or you exercise long? <laughs> it's yeah. like very easy to sometimes it's very easy to say la, to just about don't stress. Hey, yeah. don't stress lah. Hey, don't stress lah. Say very easy, but how ah? How yeah, it's actually very easy for us to say, but we know that as a patient, it's very difficult for mm. you to get rid of the stress completely. Mm. So we do have a few tips for everyone to try out mm. uh, to actually help you to reduce the stress. Uh, hopefully, slowly, slowly, you will feel um, less stressful and then you feel better. Mm. So the first thing is that uh, normally you will say that if you do have something that is very stressful, don't keep it to yourself. 
mm. can talk to someone else and then um, have a listening ear and it actually will help help mm. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to listen to you, never mind. You, you, you come my cleaning. La. I listen, I listen. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I try to make you happy. La, okay? <laughs> yeah, and then the second one is actually to... Um, but the first one is having a listening ear. Right? Mm. The second one, we can listen to some relaxing music mm. or do some uh, meditation or this. Mm. It will actually help you to calm down your mind. Mm. Then um, you actually feel better after a period of time. Mm. Put on your favorite music. La. Yeah. Yisu is the Studio Glibi. Uh, she like the Studio Glibi, the, the jazz music. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't go and put the those uh, those uh, uh, music. The, the Abing hand for shop. <laughs> that kind of music. Yeah, go for uh, some relaxing music. Man. Yeah, my favorite is the Bossa Nova pop. Like, usually I listen on the YouTube music. Yeah. Is that a question? No. Is it? I don't no, know. Let me check. Update. Let me check. check. Wow, should I wave at everybody? Wow, so many people watch us. Uh. Hello, everybody. I, I, I try to wave. Uh. Uh, uh, each time you talk, I wave to people. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay so we have talked about uh, meditation. We talked about having a listening ear. The third thing will be exercising. Uh. Moderate exercising. Uh, like exercising actually help you to reduce your stress. So you can actually do yoga. Or you can just go for a, a slow jog. Uh. This one will actually help. Okay, I think I... Wow, today quite a lot of watch. Yeah, and then there are also some uh, Chinese... Herbs that can help you to reduce your stress, which is actually very, it can be commonly obtained outside. La. So, is it, is it nan or not? No, it's actually very nice. Oh, yeah. So, <coughs> is it my are, favorite? Yeah, so these are the, some of the uh, herbs you can use for your own herbal tea, mm. which can help you to reduce your stress. Mm. And then one of, one of it is rose. Mm. Yeah, I always like to use rose for my patients. Yeah, my obviously. clinic, the rose finish already because each should keep giving away the rose. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like I'll get my patient to uh, get some at home to drink it. Uh. Mm. So rose can actually help you to regulate your liver tea. Mm. And in TCM, we say that if your liver, um, if you are very stressful, your liver tea actually goes stagnant. Mm. That's when uh, all these stress will accumulate and then cause some uh, detrimental conditions for the body. Mm. Yeah, so what we want to do is that we try to regulate your qi flow so that uh, your stress will reduce as well. Mm. And rose also have a calming properties. Mm. Yeah. Uh, chamomile is good for you mm. as well. It also helps with the sleep. Mm. And chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum mm. can help you to uh, reduce the liver fire. Mm. So for those who actually uh, after they are very stressed for a long time, right, then they always get very moody, angry. We always say that if you're angry, there's always some uh, heatiness in your body. Mm. So what we do is that we actually add chrysanthemum. So I normally will recommend patients to use rose and chrysanthemum hand in hand. Mm. Yeah, together you can just like put some in your uh, bottle and just u- use hot water to steep. Mm. Yeah, it's actually very fragrant and you can just drink it like normal water. Mm. Yeah. Just don't, make sure you don't drink it too late at night. Uh. If not, you just keep urinating and it will affect your sleep. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, then the then okay, uh, then you just drink the sleep tea can really uh, can be stressed at the same time. Uh, <laughs> right, because it's the same Get rid of the lavender. Mm. Lavender is for sleep. Mm. Okay, so that's all, I think. Right, cover everything, right? Yeah, cover everything. So I think the take home message is that uh, you just have. There's no question. No, no, no. Okay. This is a wave, wave okay. to people. Okay. So the take home message is that uh, for diet, right, just make sure you uh, get a variety of food. Don't mm. be too picky. And then mm. try to avoid all those um, very processed, very um, food that have a lot of chemicals inside. So if you look at the ingredients, you see a lot of uh, names that you, ingredients that you don't really know why is it. It's like as what phosphate mm, all this mm, right mm, and you just try to avoid the best thing is to cook yourself mm. if you are unable to do so right it's okay especially just at those coke zero <laughs> yeah just add in some uh, natural food like vegetables in your in your diet mm. yeah. and try not to drink uh, too much cold food mm. or cold drinks uh. mm. yeah, that's a take home message and also um, do moderate exercises and mm. then uh, try to sleep earlier mm. and also uh, do activities or even have hobbies to help you to reduce <coughs> the stress. Mm. Yeah. Okay, 
So before we end off, just a quick reminder, we have a giveaway at the end of this month coming soon. So uh, all you have to do is very easy, okay? Just like our page or uh, actually like the post. Uh, follow us, okay? Like the post, tag three people on the post of the giveaway, okay? Then we um, end of the month, we are collating and then we're giving away uh, our eye top out. Okay, we're giving away five of these, the one for the eye. Okay, just pull over your eye and then you relax. Uh, see, that's another way to de-stress, right? You want to relax, so you just pull over your eye. It just helps with yeah. the um, blood flow in your eyes, so you feel less fatigued and the more smell energized. also, right? like, smell of smell it also quite distressing. Like. Yeah. So, uh, it's actually very easy to use, you just need to put some water on it, then microwave it for about 30 seconds to 1 minute, depending on how hot you like it, lah, okay? Then, uh, especially those of uh, you ladies out there with menstrual cramps or cold womb syndrome, okay? Or like, just feel that like your... Your Having a lot of muscle pain. Yeah, yeah, like you feel like your this section like not so good lah, okay? So you put some water, then you just microwave, then you just put here. Yeah, the other day I got one, got one patient, she asked me what's this ah? and then I explained ah. Then she's like, then, I, uh, then she, wanted, she wanted to buy lah. Then I asked her, uh, I said, you, you, you tend to have menstrual cramp, is it? She said, no, I just want to keep my tummy warm. I was like, yeah, that's a good way, I just keep your tummy warm. It's quite a nice feeling lah, to have something warm and weighted, okay? Something that warm and weighted over your tummy, right? So this is a way. Then also inside, right, the the herb bag is a uh, replenishable. So once you know feel that you feel that the herbs are not uh not not having uh, enough herby smell already, then you can we can you can come over and uh, we can replace it for you lah. Uh, of course, not fee lah, not fee lah. But very cheap and very cheap. Don't worry. Okay. Then uh, you wanna use this expensive box also can lah. But you can wash this if you want. Okay. So don't forget to uh, follow us, uh, like our post, and pet three people, then uh, we will include you in uh, the giveaway. Okay? So uh, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, next week's live, what are we going to talk about? Mm. Is it not on tea? Huh? Are you talking about fertility? Let me take a look. Uh. Fertility! We're talking about fertility. I think <laughs> like we'll actually tea. update again on Instagram. Okay, we'll update again on Instagram. So if you if you want to watch us again, please follow us so that you are up to date when is our next live and what we will be talking about. Okay, and of course, us will follow us lah, okay? We are trying to build our channel, so do help us and uh, so we can give, keep on uh, sharing with you all a lot of tips on fertility and uh, share more stories about uh, fertility also, okay? So that's all for today. Uh, it's about lunch time, so everybody, please go and enjoy your lunch and we'll see you soon again next week. Bye! 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 Stop, Marco. Stop, Stop. 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 Stop.